Hey Gabe, what's going on? I got some work to do. I'm gonna send you a message. I'm gonna give you an update on uh, what's going on here. Um, might want to go uh, when you're mixing your fuel from now on. You could probably be safe to go like 50 to 1 ratio. Just saying. Um, I got this uh, kind of reattached this speedometer here for you. That should be good. Uh, I got a little chunk of rubber up underneath there. I put uh, this bolt down in here to keep this from uh, slipping around. This grip was getting kind of loose. The pin that fits into the plastic underneath there that it comes with was starting to uh, uh, get that hole um, wobbly, um, just out around or whatever. You know, it was starting to uh, wear down, and then that thing eventually just fails so i just put that extra bolt in there to keep it from you know turning as you're giving it throttle and working the throttle okay so you got the new tank on there the brackets that came with this thing uh, did not work um, they wouldn't fit on the bar and these posts here um these uh threaded rods that are welded into the bottom of the tank they don't go down as far as the one that came off of your original tank so i had to just do some little modified metal straps here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so those are on there real good. It's hugging that um, frame real strong. Uh, what I recommend is just keep an eye on this with some, uh, if you got an Allen wrench every four or five hours of riding this thing, occasionally just, you know, tighten up these exhaust bolts if you can. Keep an eye on them. All right. Um put a new uh, mount here on the muffler. That one was cracked, it was off. Also, your forward U-bolt um, here on your forward engine mount just totally uh, dropped off. So I put a new one of those on there. And uh, so that's good. And let's see what else is going on here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. might have a little bit of a crankcase leak. I'm not sure, but uh, it seems to be uh, coming from someplace, and I can't really pinpoint where exactly it is. But uh, just keep an eye on that. Um, it's coming out of the muffler here a little bit. That's why I'm saying that uh, you might want to thin out the mixture. Go fifty to one. I did clean the rest. I cleaned your wheels off because I had uh, grease all over them at first. Oh, here's your tensioner, by the way. You might notice a little bit of a slap now when you uh, release that uh, clutch lever to engage the clutch. Uh, it's kind of a slap and because uh, it's uh, more flexible down there as that spring's working um, when you first go to engage the clutch. So... Uh, just keep that in mind. Get a good speed up. You know, start pedaling fast. You'll get a feel for it. One other thing for this bike um, with the throttle, sometimes it'll stick a little bit. And if you go wide open and it kind of, and you bring the throttle back, it might stay up at a higher RPM. If that happens, you know, it's real easy to just, you know, you can hit the kill button for a couple seconds, work the throttle a little bit. Yeah, it just takes a little getting used to. It's not hard. It's real easy. Um, and if that doesn't do it, you can use your left hand and uh, just wiggle that wiggle that throttle cable back until you get uh, down to that lower RPM idle. But uh, you'll get it. It just takes, you know, just like these things take a little used to riding and getting used to, you'll start to get a feel for how this bike, um, what you need to do um, to ride it and um it's really not bad at all as far as that throttle sticking a little bit that's what's happening the throttle cable maybe internally is sticking and if you ever want to like uh order a new one of these or whatever um in the future you can but i mean it's very rideable and easy to work with as it is and here are your fenders that i took off yeah the bike looks pretty sweet without them actually and on this one i wanted to leave the rear one on but um, there's a mounting bolt uh, 
that's supposed to go right up in there. And uh, this little, there was a uh, hole there, and this is like an anchor nut that is just basically, it's not even welded in there, I don't think. It's just kind of like pressed into the frame there. And then the bolt holds the... Uh, uh, let's see where's that rear one. I think this is the rear. Yeah, that that bolt's supposed to go like through there and hold on right to there. I think it is. And anyway, that that just started spinning. You know, that just started spinning in there, which sucks. And um, it just wasn't gonna work. Um, so it's left it off. I mean, it looks pretty good. Just uh. Don't ride too much in the rain or you're going to get your ass wet. Uh, so you can pick that up. Uh, come in through the garage door there. And uh, if you want to just set the money, you know, up in here. I think I told you before, you can you can just set the money right up in there. And um, you should be good to go, man. So that's it. Enjoy. And you can take these other parts. There is your idler right there you can take that with you if you want um it was working really good with that um and it works good with the spring tensioner i think it's actually louder now because uh, that chain is rattling over the roller so you know that's that's what you got going on there um this does make some noise as it's rolling over that um interesting but uh, you'll hear it um to, 